So yeah, so I used to record with like I forget what it's called, but it's like it, GeForce Experience has its own like recording software, right? And uh, what did I just get? A sacred ring, something. Small bag of ho 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 holy. I get a small bag of holy soil. You could really build. Oh well, that's really nice. It's really nice. That is. Oh well. Um. I used to use that, but I realized I couldn't change the settings. I couldn't adjust the settings, and I wanted to make more high-quality videos. I wanted to record at a more, uh, at a higher quality. Charming little uh, spot. <clears throat> Too bad about all the goblins spoiling the view. Ugh, smell them from here. Man. All right. Well, we're gonna go immediately for the provocation and just try to do that. And Sticks is gonna try to stun. Do that. Do that. Uh, I and cool. Okay, there's a man here. Uh. I couldn't adjust the settings, so I switched to OBS and I started to do recordings with OBS. It's basically how that went. Um, these are way harder than I thought they'd be. Uh, okay, 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 run away, run away. Why does there why is there a guy that just always like fucking just runs right at me at the like you're dead? Um Let's switch to OBS because I can adjust the settings then there, right? Um but the weird thing about it is I'll like record the video and it'll be an indistinguish not an indistinguishable but large file size so that it so, I can I pee here? I'll take the water. Whatever. Let's get the hell out of here. We're done. That was definitely worth it. I enjoyed that. Because it lets me adjust the settings, right? So I get an FLV at the end of it, which I think is like an uncompressed video file. Um. Right, but the thing, the weird thing about it is I've never had to wait for processing time. It's just, I end the recording and the video's immediately there, and then all I have to do is I open it in VLC and I convert it to an MP4, and then I can import the MP4 into the project. That's what I've always done. Um, the only the slight issue that I've noticed in the conversion is that it, there's a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a glitch, glitchy, thing that happens to it what do you want son of the red brick? at the very beginning of it don't take it badly but you don't seem like other shamans I know believe me I had to force myself to learn to hold my tongue and keep my head down here but Ardek and your father insisted that I hide in the crowd Without them, the head foreman would doubtless have had me killed. He had another way of seeing things and didn't like competition. But I think what will interest you the most, Bloodjaw, is knowing that before being shaman, I was head of the High Plains clan. I see. That's interesting. You're right. I'm very sorry, Drakan. A lot of blood jars wanted to help you, but the high plains were too far away. Jarhail refused to split us up for an expedition that wasn't <laughs> certain to achieve its goal. And he was right. That would have meant making the same mistake I made. I alone am responsible, Jorosh. Don't blame your chief for my failures. But you deserve reinforcements. Relief. After having held out so long, 
won so many battles. And it took just one defeat to lose everything. It's always like that, Chorosh. Never forget that. Defeat always happens in the end. And when the day comes and the great breath doesn't want you, you have to force yourself to draw a lesson. In honor of all those who believed in you, there are a lot of them here. I won't forget, Drakan. I thank you. What do you want, son of the Red Breath? You can prepare the reign of the Fearless? Yes, don't worry, Bloodjaw. Thanks to you, your warriors will be ready to face death. Good. Thank you, Shaman. Cool. Um, now we can try talking to the father here. Um, this guy does not really count as a character I can talk to. I'm not really sure unless it's this. Oh, oh, it's you this guy. Me, probably it's been marked. Now it's my turn to help you. Sure. Like to know more about I don't remember you, you at all. Not much to say, really. I'm Rugar, son of Bartok and Guara, and I grew up in the Firelands. Mm, yes, Firelands. My story's the same as that of most orcs here. My clan was besieged <coughs> by the Quarsan. And when those bastards finally decided to attack, they beat us. We were starving to death. At that point, we didn't care if we won or lost. We couldn't wait anymore for the fucking battle. At least we'd be able to die like orcs. Uh, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But those Quarsun dogs weren't there to wipe us out. They weakened us so we dropped like flies and brought the survivors here as slaves to their fucking mire. That's how they dealt with lots of clans. Many no longer exist. I know. But the worst was seeing orcs helping those bastards. I called them every name in the book, I think, and was arrested once by Adek. He took me into the resistance, and I regained hope. But I had to open my big mouth again two weeks ago, and that Gorkash traitor recognized me. He wouldn't let it go after. He wanted to know how I got out of it the first time. The rest of the story you know. You're the one writing it, Bloodjaw. Thank you again, brother. My blood is yours now. Oh yeah, so we're kind of like the... We're not really the leader of the Resistance, but we're like the... Inspiration for the Resistance. Like, we're kind of a hero to them, so... Like, we're just doing everything. We're setting things up so that we can... Uh, inevitably come out on top um, because we've already gone against overwhelming circumstances that we probably should have you lost and still still won um, we're pretty cool oh uh, start the revolt in the mire I'll be back later uh, I don't think I want to tell him to do that right now I'll probably tell him to do that before before, just before we start that. So one of these guys... Okay, this is Garok. What's up, Garok? Uh, something about your life. I guess we can listen to Garok's story, huh? Because you guys haven't heard it. I've heard it. Of Garok, not very heroic. Garok grew up in Black Rocks with other children of clan. But after Big Boom, Big Rock fall on head of Garok... Garok nearly died, but shame on of tribe. Care. Yeah, well, I think you missed a few pieces. I wonder what state you'd be in if a volcanic rock fell on your head, Rakash. You look pretty tough, Garok. Oh, yes, Garok solid. After accident, tribe say Garok stupid. Garok so solid. So Garok hard work. Garok make houses, cut rocks, build dams. Uh, other children of clan not laugh at Garok because Garok's strong. But Garok not mean, just sad. Mm, Garok. Sticks. <laughs> Why, Why sad? Garok sad? Why are Garok sad? Shit, Ark! Now you're doing it! <laughs> Sticks disgusted. 
after accident, Garok not I love this so much. Ever. But Mimisha, help Garok. Mimisha, lovable female. Oh, a lovable female. First help Garok talk again, then marry Garok and give he good family. Mm. Two beautiful childs. Very smart, like mother. But oh. Oh, one day, bad man with dogs come house of Garok. Garok tried to defend family, but bad man smart. Too smart for Garok. Man kill me, Misha. Then kill children. He kill everything Garok love. Garok almost died too, but still here. Alone. The trainer, Dorek. Garok hurt bad and sad. Garok fall in fight. When we wake up, oh, dog's gone. Oh, but other mans come and, and take Garok here. Garok hates humans, sir. Fucking Quasan. Garok won't kill all. Then find man with dogs to revenge family. Mm, poor Garok. Aww. But yeah, fortunately the we have killed the, the trainer. Dogs is dead, Garok. We found him near the wall and killed him. Man. Champion to revenge Garok. Garok, give life for champion. Champion, say what Garok do, and Garok do with full heart and strength. I love you, Garok. Truly a hero. Truly I'll a, be back later, Garok. Truly a mastermind. Doesn't that just, doesn't that just, you know, hurt? Isn't it just painful to listen to Garok's story? All right, let's speak to Braggart. Ah, Akai the champion, Braggart, at your service. Delighted you have become the head foreman. I was going to raise oh, right. my own, but I felt the others were wavering a bit. I forgot about that. Because we killed the head foreman, we're apparently the head foreman now. It didn't make any sense, and I, 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 I you know, I made sure to say that at the time. Nobody heard it because the recording's gone, but, well, actually, I do have my voice recording, but it's kind of useless if I don't have the video, so, um, tell me more about yourself. To regret this, but tell me about yourself, Braggart. But I, it's like Highlander, I just fucking, I am him now. to be written down. I come from a long line of stout-hearted warriors, and I don't want to grow old here. I have a clan to rebuild. What clan? What clan are you talking about? I am the last of the turquoise dawn. All my brothers were slain by the Quasan. Well, well. The last time I met the last survivor of the turquoise dawn, it was at the wall. And he seemed a lot older. Mm. And the gift? Huh? What do you mean, the gift? The symbol of the turquoise dawn. The one I possess, passed on by an orc three times your age, who wanted to ensure the memory of his clan would survive. Mm. The one that all warriors of the tribe bear. How can you not know that, survivor? Mm. But I... I was 12 years old. I was to receive the gift, but fate did not leave me the time. The Quasan raised my village while I was hunting in the forest. When I came back... Everyone was dead. I wanted to seek revenge, mm. but there were too many of them, and they were better armed. They ended up capturing me. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's not like the last to tell stories. I think this kid is full of shit. His story stinks, and I know stink. You can believe what you want, Goblin. I don't yeah, why does this shit. matter? Thank you for your revelations, Braggart. Okay. 
Well, Braggart, we've decided we don't believe you, Braggart. And we've decided you're a bit of a bragger. 